Hello students welcome to the online revision class today we are going to revise unit 3 students before we start our class i want all of you to be ready with your student reader notebook and pen or a pencil i hope all of you are ready so let us begin our class let us first revise about minerals we know that the solid layer of earth are made up of naturally occurring solids and they are called rocks now how minerals are discovered we know that rocks are made up of different minerals and if we heat and break rocks what we get we get minerals now some minerals are naturally occurring they are not made by humans and some minerals are inorganic inorganic means they are non living and they are not made of or coming from living things so they are non living some minerals are solid and some minerals have crystal structure now in earlier times how minerals was used after stone age came the copper and the iron age so what happened humans started using copper for making utensils weapons and currency and iron is very strong mineral and was used to make tools you can see all the tools in the picture yes and the weapons made from copper that also you can see which is the most abundant mineral found on earth so that is feldspar feldspar is the most abundant mineral on earth and it is used in dinnerware bathroom and building tiles it is also used in cement concrete pottery and soaps and even in fertilizers also which is the second most abundant mineral on earth that is quartz yes quartz is the second most abundant mineral on earth and it is used in concrete glass in scientific instruments in watches and in silicon semiconductors also properties of minerals why should we study properties of minerals so we should study properties of minerals to easily find out which mineral is present in a rock without analyzing it in a laboratory so if we know the properties of minerals so we can easily analyze that which mineral is present in a rock so let's study properties of minerals the first property is all minerals are solid but they differ in hardness the measure of hardness of mineral is moh scale hard minerals have high moh number okay and the minerals which are soft they have low moh number now we will study about hardness a mineral with high mo number can scratch minerals with lower mo number so uh, below are mo number for common mineral so uh, talc is having 1 calcite 3 quartz 7 topaz 8 and diamond nine is that clear now can you answer these questions which is the softest mineral so who is having the less number that is one talc so talc will be softest mineral is topaz hard or soft so the number is eight so it will be hard yes what about diamond so diamond will be is having 
the highest number nine so it will be hardest yes so which is the softest mineral talc you can scratch it using your fingernail as well okay stupas hard or soft so it is hard because it has high mo number what about diamond so diamond is the hardest now the second property is crystal all minerals have crystals shape of these crystals help us in identifying the mineral so it depends on the shape so with the shape we can identify that it is which mineral minerals have crystals in the shape of cubes prism or sheets so some minerals have crystals and those crystals are arranged in cube shape you can you have seen cube so those minerals are arranged in cube shape and some minerals have crystal they are arranged in prism shape so now we have learned about two properties of mineral the first is the hardness and the second is size of crystal now let us learn about two more properties of minerals so the third property is color the most obvious property of mineral however many minerals have same color hardest property to use to identify minerals they are having uh, same color so it is very hard to identify that it is which mineral color is used with other properties such as shape and hardness to identify mineral so along with color we used to uh, see other properties also like the shape and the hardness to identify that it is which mineral the fourth property is luster luster of a mineral is the way that it reflects light so it can be glassy metallic and adamantine so some minerals have a glassy luster whereas some minerals have metallic luster some can perfectly reflect light and known as adamantine luster so we have glassy metallic and adamantine let us check how much you have learned so the first question is which is the most abundant mineral found on earth in today's class only we have revised just think which is the most abundant mineral found on earth i hope you know the answer so the answer is feldspar yes feldspar is the mineral which is in abundant it is the most abundant mineral which is found on earth now second question which is the second most abundant mineral found on earth the most abundant mineral we know feldspar which is the second most abundant mineral the answer is quartz yes quartz is the second most abundant mineral found on earth third question which rock can you find quartz in so quartz is find in which rock i hope you know so quartz is find in igneous sedimentary and metamorphic rocks question number 4 name three uses of feldspar i hope you know the uses the first use is fertilizer second is dinnerware and third is cement so feldspar is used in fertilizer dinnerware and in cement question number 5 name three uses of quartz so three uses of quartz are it is used in watch semiconductor and glass 
what are the three types of crystal forms that minerals can have so the three types of crystal forms are first is cube second is prism and third is sheet so this is all for today thank you students for attending the class happy learning take care